Hello and welcome everyone to our Fierce Friday slash Lunch and Learn with the Million Mom Movement. My name is Carmela Velarde. I'm a um, proud Perium brand partner and also mom of two. I have a nine-year-old boy and a 12-year-old girl and they are my Perium babies. Um, my husband's a very conscious father and, and present dad and I'm so grateful for this community. Um, they're really who has inspired me to live the lifestyle of <clears throat> impeccable health, holistic health, and truly turn around many of my health conditions that I've experienced through my whole life. And it wasn't until this lifestyle that I was truly able to get around them. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we meet here in August. It is August. <laughs> and our topic today for Lunch and Learn is brain fog, <laughs> anxiety, and exhaustion which is also fatigue. And I mean, this is something everyone can relate to, right? I think so. So when I heard about this topic, it was actually through um, Stephanie Dawn and I just jumped in and I said, I think um, I'd love to host. So I have a background actually of all of that as a mama. <laughs> I, I've experienced all of those things and the extent to which I experienced them, I noticed mostly postpartum. Um, I had a lot of depletion and I was suffering. I was looking for an answer. And that's really when I found this community. And I was somebody who everybody had gone to for health advice and tips. And I was thinking to myself, how on earth did I find myself here? And um, the questions are not um, really met with a lot of clarity. When you go to average Western doctors, um, you might find a DO or a functional medical doctor or a naturopathic doctor, and they might lead you down the road of taking tests because you might want to do blood tests regularly or thyroid tests and just check levels um, to make sure that everything, if you could take a test to check that you know where you're at and that way you can connect with nutrition. But I will say that everything I learned in this community was about balance because food is medicine. People are taking medication and then they're eating poorly and they're still not getting around the issue. And this is what I was experiencing. I said, I'm not taking medication. I was diagnosed um, <clears throat> lupus at the time, borderline Hashimoto's. This is postpartum. And I said, oh my goodness, I was healthy up until now. And I'm with, a ch with two children. How am I going to do this? I need help. And so we're here in Lunch and Learn to really spotlight different concerns that our community is truly experiencing on a regular, and we're here to support you with storytelling. <clears throat> what the Fierce Friday and our Million Mom Movement, what we love to do with Lunch and Learns is to help you really clarify some of these gray areas and how we're to um, support you with that is let's go deeper into the topic. So I'm gonna share a screen and just let me know, Kim, do you see this? on the, yep, yeah. okay, good. All right, so brain fog. Hmm, what is this um, <laughs> mysterious brain fog that we experience? And truly, is it something neurological? Is this something truly that is something that might be um, wrong with our nervous system? So anxiety, this can come in so many forms and exhaustion. So what are some culprits? Let's always talk about where it might stem from and the causes. And well, look, we're all on technology, right? How many hours today have you been on your phone or computer? And sort of how have, okay, this is just focusing on where it could come from. And because I know for first thing in the morning, I walk outside in the sunshine and I make sure that's one of the first things that hits my eyes is natural light, not technology. And we get overloaded when we're not in balance of this. Blood sugar imbalances. We have a wonderful guest that's going to be coming on talking about this, this area, um, that she has um, a story that she's struggled with and endured. So I'm so excited to hear more from Kim Michelle. And gluten intolerance, this goes along with it as well. Um, carbs and that kind of downtrodden feeling of feeling that weight of inflammation really bogging us down. And it's right there in the center. It may as well be because that's what we all are dealing with truly in the under underlying it all. The inflammation that's underneath our, 
our skin, we don't see the extent to which it's impacting our tissues, our organs, our blood health, um, anemia or lack of blood health. I was also anemic um, just in the first few days postpartum coming out of the hospital. And I said, wow, I really was undernourished and I needed so much more to feel better because I was so depleted. Um, sleep deprivation. <laughs> I think everyone can relate to this at all different times of your life. Um, not just the mamas, but even my mom is visiting here and she's 76 and she suffers. And I said, well, we're going to do some exercises. We're going to eat better, but key is movement medicine, right? For elderly as well. Um, Cause that also isn't something that's very, you know, exciting when you're older, <laughs> but at the same time, I think it's really important um, because sleep deprivation is linked to so many things that could be a lunch and learn all on its own. Um, overtraining. So on the contrast side, um, you're overwhelming your energy levels, your cortisol then boosts because you're overexerting yourself. There's always a balance, right? So there's depletion, there's um, excess, there's deficiencies. I can't see that early. What does it say? Oh, goodness. I have to look at it otherwise. Medical side effects of of um, medicines. Well, that's unfortunate that you're even having to be prescribed this, but it happens, right? Blood pressure, high blood pressure. Some people are on thyroid medication for long lengths of time. Um, those who are on birth, birth control, um, there's so many different medications that can cause um, negative effects of these basically nutritional deficiency syndromes that we're talking about today. And what does this spiral us into? We're talking about stress, right? Stress, these are symptoms of stress. And we like to kind of hone in on these different stress symptoms because they in itself have stories. <laughs> you know, brain fog alone. When people have brain fog, they don't realize all the things it's at, that are actually happening to them, um, such as the things in this. It's a fight or flight response. So it's a parasympathetic, sympathetic response from the... Um, nervous system we're in, we produce different chemicals in our bodies in response to what's happening to us in our external world, or sometimes our emotional and energetic field or physical field. And so when we are reactive, what chemicals are you producing? Are you producing endorphins and serotonin and dopamine in good balance? Or are you producing a lot of cortisol? enough melatonin maybe, maybe not. So there's all this balance that we're playing with all day long and stress symptoms with fight or flight. I believe everybody in the holistic world wants to understand how do we mitigate these? Because every single day you can have your child walk in when you're on a call and they're crying and they need food and you're on a call doing something where how are you gonna balance both energies? What, what is it in your system? What, what happens physiologically to your system? Changes to your vision, um, or your heart beats faster, your palms get cold and sweaty. So all of these different physiological effects that affect our system. Now, how are we here to support you? Well, we have solutions. So that's what I'm getting to here. And I'm really excited to share those. But this fight or flight response is a reaction and we can learn how to prevent our bodies from going excessively over to producing these negative hormones that only do more damage than good. I'll be talking in detail more, especially with the guests, about nutritional deficiencies that are linked to fatigue, right? Deficiency syndromes, which is also brain fog. Um, and there are many vitamins. This, these are just a few. Um, oh my goodness. This was supposed to be at the end, but here we go. Brain fog subtypes, like I said, stress, poor amounts of sleep. So I always think of the three pillars first. And I mean, this is associated with these subtypes, but stress is not a specific pillar. The pillars are nutrition, sleep, and movement. Those three things in balance as a pyramid will help to offset all these subtypes, right? Like hormonal balance, inflammation with movement and nutrition, proper alkaline diets, blood sugar balance, nutrient deficiencies here, all of this. Why are we talking about this in our Million Mom Movement community? Because we have a solution for gut health. 
And gut health is linked to all of these things to be supported through actually receiving tools, nutrients that will activate our system to be able to combat all of these stress hormones. So yes, we're gonna have the stress. It's, in, and it's inevitable. If you work, if you live, if you have children, you have stress. So the gut health is the focus in our Million Mom movement because we have tools and solutions that if you didn't know about them, we'd love to share them with you. The person who invited you to this call has solutions and we want to identify you. Who are you out there who is experiencing stress? So these are signs of nutritional defi deficiencies that the protocols that these different testimonials will be sharing, they have the solutions, they've gone through some of these things that are listed here and the nutrition of the superfood lifestyle has really truly the support system that can help you in a very convenient way. So it's gonna list different vitamins here, but our programs are all inclusive of these vitamins and nutrients. That's what I love about it. But I wanna give you a little deeper understanding of, so this is more holistic vision of what is connected holistically with say eye health. Eye health is kidney health, right? So especially the under eye. So you could see a lot about a person's health through either their, in, there's different, I'm not a certif certified practitioner of this, but um, the eye scan, right? I don't have that certificate and I wish I did, but there are other practitioners who know. The dark circles around the eyes have a connection to dehydration, food intolerances, night vision. Can't quite move this around, goodness. It's on top of the words. Well, anyway. Um, I'm gonna try my best to read, <laughs> read through it. Um, so allergies, so many of us have them and it is definitely connected to gut health, inflammation in the body and even food tolerances. I have been a health coach specifically with Purium for the past eight years. And I have clients, many clients actually who've gotten around their, their allergies since childhood just from just really detoxifying their gut. It's amazing. The foods that they were not able to eat as a child, now they're able to eat. So these tolerances, even intolerances that have come up, such as gluten, that are maybe have arisen maybe two years ago. So all their life, you've not had this, you've had a tolerance and all of a sudden you don't. So you want to question what's happening in your body. What do you need to detoxify in order for it to not be intolerant? So um, carotenoids, vitamin A, ruptured blood vessels in the eyes, nearsightedness, paler eyelid. So I love this, this particular screen share because for me, I think, oh, if this is happening in my body, give me a map. What's happening? What am I missing? Right? Don't you want to know? Wasn't there like a scan somewhere in the future where you can just walk in and have all these different symptoms and then you know exactly what nutrients you're lacking? Um, and so... These are, I love this type of information as a holistic practitioner, but teeth and gums, bleeding gums is vitamin C, folate, um, crowded teeth is calcium. I can't even see what's behind there. Um, so you could take a screenshot. You can watch this on the replay on YouTube, but I really do love to understand nutrients because as we are taking in these organic superfood nutrients and they have, they're packed, they're powerhouses, like um, spirulina, for instance, is a multivitamin. It has all of the B uh, nutrients like thiamine, um, pyroxene, um, folic acid. But what do they really help you to do? These different B vitamins. And am I getting all of them? Right. And this is where, if you have these different health issues with the muscles and joints, maybe muscle cramping, um, the issue that I had with anemia. Um, there are specific nutrients that you can make sure that you uptake and focus on. And it goes into the mouth, the skin, emotional and mental. So again, when we're talking about fatigue, we're talking about also, it's, it's to me, it gives me a sense of this emotional connection too. So it's also um, psychological, like a depression. And that has a lot to do with um, serotonin built in your gut. 
and hormones that we are building physiologically so we can supplement. So anyone who's not supplementing right now is deficient. That's just the truth. If you're not supplementing currently in your or an organic whole food plant-based diet with superfoods, you're missing nutrients because there is just not enough of what we need in the soil, unless you're eating from a biodynamic farm and always eating from um, enough protein that you calculate daily. So that's why I really love to share this type of information because I know that out there we are suffering. There's a lot of depression, fatigue, brain fog, and a lot of anxiety. I think it is the number one um, medication that's taken um, as prescription is anti-anxiety medication. So I have some recommendations, but I'm going to stop my share and I would love to introduce uh, my first guest. And she's actually a dear friend of mine for many years. Um, and her name is Vanessa Gordillo and she is in New York City. I met her in New York City. She's a brand partner and very new one. And um, I'd love for her to share her background and her story because when we're talking about fatigue and brain fog <laughs> and anxiety, yes, I know her well. And she balances this with such grace and beauty. And I truly um, am excited for you to hear her story. So Vanessa, can you unmute? Okay. Hello, everyone. Great to be here with you all. Thank you so much, Carmela. Um, yes, my story. <laughs> um, I've been a flight attendant now for 18 years, um, looking to transition. Always have been in the realm of uh, natural and holistic health. Um, it all started back with um, learning of my grandfather's history, who I've never got to meet, but my mom uh, of course, passed on, you know, his legacy and um, his history. And he was a, I guess you could call an integrative medicine uh, doctor. And he was just really out to serve his community and always uh, be make himself available so much. He was uh, fortunately persecuted because he was uh, uh, told, you know, you can't help everybody, you know, and in the political times that they were in, in, in Colombia back in those times, um, it, it just caused so much stress. And eventually he, he passed on from all that. But my mom, um, you know, with her story, um, she went on to come to, the, uh, she came to the United States um, as a teenager, but knew that the moment she would uh, have children was a moment that she would really focus on their health. She would drop everything and do that. And that she has passed on to us. So I've always grown around a juicer. I've always grown around knowing all these different things and took it for granted because so many people did not know. Um, and so now my world has really um, bumped up against, you know, most people's world. And I'm like, what is going on here? This doesn't make sense. And, and this is what health should really be like. And I'm sorry that I started to want to be part of the common um, way, but I, I need to go back and tap into those roots. And so looking to uh, step into all things health, um, I thought I wanted to be a neonatologist because I have a big passion for premature babies. Uh, but then I saw that I didn't want to be part of the um, allopathic medicine world. Um, it has a place, but it wasn't, it did not align for me. So I um, continued to look and, and, you know, life goes on and then you end up doing all these different things. And so I've been flying now for 18 years because I do love to travel the world and I love to get to know people and connect. Um, but that is now, you know, no longer in alignment with me as well. So I'm looking to transition and uh, along comes my beautiful friends, Carmela. And I've been using the products now for some years, but I was just using the power shake. And um, this past February, I had some foot surgery, had to take off work for some time. And I said, oh gosh, I can't move. Uh, what am I gonna do? And, and I can't prepare meals. I need ease, I need nutrition. And um, so I brought that into my life. Uh, when I got back to work, my big girl pants were fitting me a little tight. And I said, okay, I've gotta buy some more because I can't just live off of one pair of pants until I can, you know, 
be uh, managed to fit into, you know, my other pants better. Uh, so I bought a couple of more pants. By the time I got them hemmed, here I am on the ULT um, on all the products uh, because I told Carmela I really want to be able to incorporate all of them. Um, and by the time, yes, I got them back into my hands, put them back on, my friend says, why are you going to work in your pajama pants? And I was like, oh, shoot, they, they do look like pajama pants right now. And I said, wow, this is a beautiful side effect. I wasn't really expecting all that and that quickly, but, um, you know, just really bumped up my interest and, and curiosity. Okay. What, what else is available? What else is possible? Because that's something that I looked in my own life to constantly, you know, better myself each day. And so I wanted to get to know more about Purium. And I said, you know what, let yeah, we, we got to partner up here. Okay. We've been looking to create different things in our lives together as well. So any moment spent with Carmela is a wonderful and, and joyful moment for me. So yes, let's continue to grow together. And um, so, yes, I've been looking at the other different products. Can't beat this. Uh, uh, just really enjoying the the new proteins, the coffee proteins and all. And so um, at work, sometimes I work the other day, just last this past Thursday, I worked about 17 hours. Our days are set to maximum 14, but if they need to be extended for weather or whatever it may be, we can be pushed to 18 hours. And I was getting close to that. And that's really a really tough situation to be in. But I have these wonderful products to rely on now and know that my body is getting what it needs and that I can, you know, just continue to go through my day and that I'm going to be well and I'm going to recover well. So it's been a, a joy to be part of this community now, especially with the Million Mom movement. You know, um, it ties into my passion with the preemies and to be able to share this information with so many other people and um, really uh provide you know these solutions so you know there's so much um uh, so many conscious minds and um there's so much heart involved in it that it really uh it, it brings me joy it fills me to be part of this community and to be taking in all these wonderful uh products for myself you know and being able to just share them on, on a daily you know at every moment you always come across somebody who um can benefit so it's just so easy to share and so easy to be received as well so it's been a wonderful joy and um yeah that 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 speaks to where where i'm at currently and um i'm so glad to be here with all of you well thank you vanessa <laughs> um and talk about for a moment these 17 hour days like tell us what it is that you experience like even in your physical, emotional body, like what do you go through in your day that you're supporting? And mm -hmm. yes, um, there is certainly fatigue. There is certainly brain fog. And when you have, you know, almost, uh, you know, say 200 passengers that you have to, um, you know, take care of <laughs> essentially, um, you need to be on, on your top game. So um these products really work with helping me through that. It's been a long time. And we flight attendants have something like moms do, you know, that, that flight attendant brain, where after some time, I mean, you're lucky to know what day you're standing in. It's like, okay, when do I work again? What's going on? What day is it today? And that is a lot that works against your body, the pressurization of the cabin. You know, I mean, I, if anyone has been on a plane, you know, after one flight, your body feels it. So having to be in a cabin for almost 17 hours in a day, that is, is a huge toll on your body. And so, you know, I have to be on my A game, you know, God forbid anything happens. Um, and just to be able to be present to, to each person that, you know, we are um, serving during the flight, um, be in communication with one another, be aware, you know, there's always anything that can go wrong. And um, so, yeah, it's essential to to the job, to my life, to everyone else's life on board. You it sounds like you take it so seriously, and 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 you love what you do, and I, I really hear you and and thinking like you're a travel athlete, right? Like the amount of energy that you you're standing always. And then the pressure system. And I know I've spoken to you, you're dealing with different time zones and sleep deprivation. So yes, I, I, I love that you asked me, you know, what is it that you're doing? 
<laughs> because um, this is what we live for, right? When we know better, we want to help others to do better. And now that when you're sharing with other attendants that are have the same lifestyle as you, right? There's many different career fields out there. They're taxed physically. And um, how much of a break was it that you actually get in your day to self-care in that process? How many hours do you sit down? You do not get a break. Um, and especially if you uh, start your day um, delayed, that means on the other end, when you get there, they're going to try to turn that plane one, two, three. And mm -hmm. we don't get a break. But we're actually in the way because there's cleaners, there's security searches going on. There's all the stuff going on. It's like, okay, you're doing a little, you know, dance around them. And then it's okay, ready to board? Let's go. <laughs> and you're like, oh, okay, <laughs> here I am. And you have to make the best of it. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's not the, the glitz and glam. So many people think it is, <laughs> there is so much that is required. Um, and my time off during my foot surgery, my time off that I took off during the beginning of COVID has really allowed me to see, you know what, I need to be a little more grounded these days. So now I get to bring Imperium and yeah you know, have that transition, you know, I see the light at the end of the tunnel here because I'm helping others and I'm helping myself. I'm able to reduce my flying hours. I don't have, it's not a must anymore, right? I don't have all my eggs in one basket. So there is opportunity available. There's possibility, you know, that just, just continues to surface itself. And I'm so grateful for it. Wow. 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 Thank you so much, sister, for sharing today. I hope Thank everyone you. else is inspired as well, because, you know, we think our lives have so much going on. Everyone has a different window of the world they're experiencing in their physical body as well. So, um, yes, and I love that you're weaving in this new way of living um, to take care of yourself and finding that it is a solution, not only that, for a transition to a better lifestyle with more time freedom for yourself. Yes, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. <laughs> thank you as well. Oh, I love these shares. Thank you so much. And it just, you know, when I thought of somebody to, to come on, I couldn't think of the first person with you. <laughs> um, now I'd love to move over now. I get to meet this next lady for the first time. And I was introduced by the chair of the Malay Mom Movement, um, Stephanie Dawn, and her name is Kim Bichelle. So Kim um, has grown up in the UK. Um, I think you're in LA now, um, but you are a mom and you have a wonderful story that's very different than Vanessa. So I really enjoy that um, we're bringing different experiences here with these three topics of anxiety and uh, brain fog and fatigue. So Kim, I'd love for you to share. Come on on the mic. There you go, try it now. There Hi, you. thanks, Carmela. Um, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. first I'd just like to say thank you very much for having me here. I'm very honored to speak um and uh, so impressed by what uh, stephanie and um all of your team achieve it's amazing <laughs> and you're so inspiring so thank you um okay yes so Imperium um entered my life about five years ago um i was uh, introduced by tal kapoor who i know um is uh, has her own incredible um health story and uh, is a very very inspiring um uh person in my life I love working with her um which I'll get to a bit further down the, down the track but um so um I watched her transformation and was very inspired by what was going on with her and um thought that maybe it might be able to help me so I'd been struggling with hypoglycemia for about uh 25 years um and uh it had spanned three countries. I was first, first diagnosed with it when I was in the UK. Um, I'd later moved to Australia and um, had started really learning a little bit about how to get it under control through diet and um, exercise. I hooked up with a very good naturopath um, and started changing a lot of things about the way that I was eating and my lifestyle. Um, and uh, But it never really fixed it. 
Um, fast forward a little bit, we moved to the US. Um, I'd had a baby and my symptoms were becoming progressively worse. Um, my fluctuations in my blood sugar levels were um, uh, multiple times a day. And um, I knew that, that those ups and downs were really damaging my body um, long term and uh, the daily effects to try and you know maintain my my life um, through that was was really really hard um, I had a young baby um, and um, I was extremely extremely tired a lot of the time um, I really liked working out and I was trying to do that regularly to help maintain my blood sugar levels but um, as soon as I changed anything in my um, I guess my calorie usage in my body, everything would go to hell in a handbasket. So um, it would either go, my blood sugar levels would either go too high or too low, um, and I would end up feeling really the. Um, and uh, so lots of fatigue, my um, ability to just feel like I was on it and just, you know, decide what tasks I wanted to get done in the day and actually be able to get through them was, was, getting worse and worse um and just everything was just becoming too difficult um I didn't feel like I could uh keep it together at all um uh the I was putting on weight um I had a lot of inflammation I had huge amounts of joint pain um I wasn't sleeping very well um my mood and I'm normally a really happy jolly person and my mood was getting worse um my fuse was really short and I was um getting uh losing my temper and getting upset with my family um which made me feel terrible um and I just wasn't feeling happy um it was not fun <laughs> um so like I say I watched Tal um to um, start going through her transformation and um, asked her what she was doing and she shared with me and um, I was incredibly skeptical but I was also just you know, wanting to give anything that might work a go but um, I tried all sorts of different things in the past and nothing had worked and like I said anything that I tried to do to to change my um, my diet normally just sent me into a tailspin and it would take me another two weeks to get it back under control again um but anyway I gave it a go and within four days I knew that I'd got something that was completely different to anything I'd tried before um all of a sudden my energy levels were way more constant and my sleep improved um and within probably five or six days, it was like suddenly this cloud had lifted. Um, that brain fog that I don't think I even realized that how much I had it because it just happened gradually. And, you know, I didn't, I don't remember what it felt like before it was there. All of a sudden it, it just lifted and it was like the lights had suddenly gone on. <laughs> um, and I can still remember now, five years ago, how overjoyed I was at that feeling. It was just amazing to suddenly be able to say in the morning, okay, this is what I'm going to do and da, 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 and get it done and still have time to do something else. And it was just, it was just incredible. Um, and um, I have not gone a day, I don't think, since then without taking my products. <laughs> if I have, um, it would only be the odd day very here and there. Um, I've done several ULTs um, with the with the 10 day cleanse in the middle. Um, and uh, those are real, you know, just wow. <laughs> Knock your socks off, make you feel like a million dollars. Um, uh, I've been taking the products now for about five years. And the longer I take them, the more benefits I see. Um, I recently found some old photographs of myself. Um, and looking back to where I was 10 years ago, I think, I hope, I actually look younger now than I did 10 years ago. Um, and I, I know for a fact, but I definitely feel better. Um, I've got more energy, I get more done. My mood is way, way better. I don't shout at my kids anymore. <laughs> 
or my husband very often. Um, <laughs> Um, I've completely changed my lifestyle. We're actually, we were in LA, Carmela, but we're now in Puerto Rico. Um, COVID made us realize that um, our family could be wherever we needed to be or wanted to be. And so my husband works from home. Um, my daughter really likes online school. So she's doing um, online, she's 15. And so we moved to the west side of Puerto Rico. We're four blocks from the beach. Um, I um, have uh, joined the, the Imperium team, which I love. It's an amazing community. And um, I've eventually got the, the time and the headspace to be able to share um, with other people, which is just amazing and I'm loving it. Um, I was asked earlier on this year to become a spin instructor. So I now teach spin down by the beach, <laughs> three or four mornings a week. Um, and um, I'm also now teaching TRX. I'm just about to start studying nutrition and be a health coach. And this is something that I've wanted to do all my life. Um, and so it's completely changed our lifestyle. Um, my family will take the product as well. Um, and uh, yeah, so not only has it changed my health, but it's also changed my attitude to life, I think. Um, a lot of the... Um, the training that I've received and the support and confidence building that I've received has made me realize that I can do whatever the hell I want to do um, and to completely change my career as I'm approaching my 60s, which I think is kind of cool. <laughs> um, and yeah, there's no turning back. I shall be taking these products for the rest of my life and I will continue sharing them with anybody that will listen to me. <laughs> so thank you for letting me speak. <laughs> And share my story and um oh just uh, i guess um the i take the um the core for every day and i i incorporate a, um the performance products as well um okay. and uh yeah that's it <laughs> wow so you you must use the performance products if you're I do. now at, did you disclose your age did you share <laughs> 57 57 and you're teaching spin and I am. well four times a week <laughs> cheers sister I love this I love when um you know we're our bodies are a vehicle and it's how we transform it and use the fuel to transform the power in it so yeah. I love that yours and Vanessa's share was about you transitioning into a different career field a different body and life and it's I'm so proud of you for this experience to um, share with us. You've come all this way. I have a question though. Um, you know, in Puerto Rico, what I've experienced with other customers and partners, even though you might think it's like a, you know, tropical place, is there, is it a food desert? Would you consider it yes. sort of a food desert for organics? Now talk about sourcing foods out there. Um, yes, it's not easy. Um, quite often you'll go into the even just the you know the the normal produce aisle let alone organic um and there'll just be lots of blank spots so you know mm -hmm. it's not like LA where <laughs> you can just get everything all year round um mm -hmm. so it's very seasonal but it's also very prone to um uh, fluctuations in the supply chain um, right. and the amount of organic produce produce that you can get here is very limited um, I think one of my uh, one of the my my activist <laughs> attention here is going to be to try and support Puerto Rico in improving its farming here. I mean, there's there's so much space. They have an amazing, um, really rich soil here, but they they're not um, they're not producing their own food, and they really could be. But um, anyway, I shall get off my bandwagon. But it's really good to know that. Um, even though we can't get organic food here very easily, um, there are farmers markets, um, and they do they do a good job. But you can't always get everything. Um, mm -hmm. But um, it's good to know that I can feed myself and my family really, really amazingly high quality superfoods nutrition every day, without having to get it from the supermarket. That is what we have available, and we all now have access to, and that's huge because there are food deserts everywhere but yeah. I just heard you say Puerto Rican some people might think it's tropical it's like an oasis but it's everywhere really processed mm -hmm. foods predominate 
um, food shortages everywhere, food price hikes everywhere. Yeah. My husband and I have been noticing that. So, ah, yes. So we have something really beautiful in our hands to share. Thank you so much, Kim. Such a pleasure. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Cheers. Okay. I, I get lit up listening to you. I know you get a lot of love in the chat here. Vanessa, too. Um, both of your stories, really, it's it's a heart-centered space. We're not coming from here, which is what everyone is really separating us with our health and wellness is trying to teach us from up here. But all those things, you have to try the lifestyle. It's a 60-day money back. Just try it and see how it feels. If you're hearing all of these different things, we have no additives, preservatives, colors, artificial sugars. It's 100% organic, certified organic. Um, we, yeah, all right, we, we have something very special that's upgraded nutrition that is just not available anywhere else. So you can get it shipped to Puerto Rico or the US Virgin Islands even, <laughs> Canada, the, uh, the EU. So, okay, well, I'm gonna shift gears now and I get to meet another lovely sister inside our community who I've never met until now. I'm very excited. She's with Taz Barrera's group. Um, her name is Kushi Rawa, and also known as the Powerful Medicine Mama. Um, she's a mom of two teens, and she has a background of having recovered from some concussive um, history. Um, so what's interesting, we have these different topics of brain fog, you know, anxiety. I'm shocked, uh, not too much uh, talk about anxiety, but it's it's all underlying, I think, with your experience, Kim, and obviously your lifestyle to Vanessa. But now with Kushirawa, I'd love to hear yours. Please unmute and um, say hello to the group. Here we go. Perfect. Thank you so much for having me here today to speak. It's such a pleasure and an honor to come and share my story with you all. So um, I'm gonna jog back to just over a year ago, I had been watching a dear friend of mine's transformation, Adina Tree, who is also a brand partner with us at Perium. And I'd been watching her health transformation over the course of a year. I was very skeptical about the products, very skeptical about you know, the intake of this extra nutrition. And I'd already been supplementing with vitamins, with vitamin D especially because uh, you know, we all need that in our in our bodies to thrive, and especially iron, because I can touch on the fact that I I definitely was anemic, and I know now after about six months of having these products in my life that now my anemia is starting to go away, and I was experiencing symptoms such as dark eyes or you know dark bags around the eyes, and you know skin problems, brain fog, and a whole bunch of things that have to do with vitamin and mineral deficiency. So, you know, when I first decided to invest in this for my health and my wellness, my family and I had just recovered from COVID, which, you know, you know, was very difficult. And it was the first time that I had been ill in over 11 years. So in 11 years, I had not been ill prior to that. And so in February, I decided, okay, I'm going to invest in this for my health. And it was really just to, you know, boost my body's immune system back up to par. But also along with COVID, they're starting to do more research on what it does to the brain. And we do experience a heavy brain fog after having this viral load. So I was experiencing brain fog. And, you know, due to the concussion I had four and a half years ago or so, I had an immense amount of concussive symptoms that were just kind of lingering on. And I had been referred to a brain surgeon and two different neurologists to speak with on the symptoms that I was having. And the three of them did not have any answers for me in terms of how they could help, how I was feeling. The only thing that I was offered was, I think it was a blood thinner and something that had to do with how the brain neurotransmits, but I'm not really a person that supports taking pharmaceuticals unless it's absolutely necessary to my health and my wellness. And so I decided I wanted to go the natural path and I put myself on a regimen, a very strict concussion regimen of no gluten, no sugar, no caffeine. And there's 
several different other things that were involved in that. And then even still, I wasn't experiencing results. And up until experiencing the ultimate lifestyle transformation, I didn't have relief from these concussive symptoms. And I mean, I'm talking uh, memory issues, dizziness, headaches. I would have times where I stood up and I would completely just fall over because I, I couldn't gain stability fast enough for my body to feel supported. And, you know, I remember about six days in to my ultimate lifestyle transformation that I had recall again. And this is something that I wasn't sure I was going to get back after having this concussion. And um, I, wrote, I write my kids notes, you know, to put in their lunch and whatnot. And I was able to re, you know, remember what their little note said at the end of the day, which was an incredible, um, an incredible shift in what I was experiencing with my health and wellness over the course of three and a half years of struggling with those symptoms. And I remember messaging Adina and just saying, you know, I feel so inspired and so driven by my own personal change that I would like to become a part of this business and help others thrive in this way and feel their best. And, you know, up until doing the ultimate lifestyle transformation and really going at my gut health from a different angle, which I mean, on a side note, I had already experienced doing different cleansing, but I found it really hard on the body. And afterwards, I was still feeling depleted and, you know, not energized to the extent that I, you know, that I was really looking forward to, so to speak. And um, with this experience all the way through, you feel so energized and so alive. And this completely changes the way that we are able to look at nutrition and the way that our body functions with higher levels and higher density nutrition. And you know, as my time went on, I also can touch on anxiety because I was somebody who has suffered with chronic anxiety. It was, it was a very challenging aspect of my life because in, in, in every way I feel outgoing as a person and uh, confident, so to speak, but I felt that the, definitely the anxiety experience was uh, detrimental to my ability to feel my own self-esteem on a daily basis. And I started to notice around day 15 of that 30 days that um, my anxiety was stripping away and I wasn't experiencing as heavy as, as anxiety that I was for years in my life prior. And um, you know, coming to the end of the ULT, it was something that I didn't notice until the end. And um, obviously this is a gradual experience, but I'm somebody who had suffered with more than 25 years of chronic pain. And this was from several accidents that I had been in. I had been hit by a truck when I was eight and had several surgeries as a result of, the, of that accident. And um, I didn't realize that it was actually my gut health that was causing this chronic illness. And you know, now I don't experience any chronic pain anymore. And I'm so grateful and so overjoyed that I get to share this with the world because you know we really don't need to be suffering from chronic illness on this planet. And nutrition is the real key to solving chronic illness. It's not medication. It's not uh, you know taking something that's going to put a band-aid solution on things. And you know I can pleasantly say being free of that has completely changed my life. It has completely changed the way that I look at my lifestyle as a whole and what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. I was somebody who uh, intook cannabis uh, on a regular basis for pain. And, um, you know, and that in and of itself is a real energy drainer, especially if you're intaking it on a regular basis daily. And so um, it just has transformed the way that I look at health and nutrition. And you know, my two teens as well it has transformed uh, their lives and their nutrition as well. And on a regular basis, we have these products in our lifestyle. And I'm so overjoyed and grateful um, you know, that I had been watching my friend's journey because if it wasn't for her share and her vulnerability and openness to share her story, I wouldn't be where I am today. You look so young to have two teens. And <laughs> your story, I, wow, uh, having that injury so young in life, you don't know what was, you know, your body's still growing and you're here working to heal it. <laughs> I'm sure you're just trying to figure out what does a healed state feel like in the first place? So for you to have come this far in your journey and to really express all the things that you've gone 
through with the vehicle that is our, our body. Yeah, you're a beautiful example of what can be with this dense nutrition. Um, I, I don't have any specific question otherwise, but I love that you are empowered to share because of what you're experiencing. So there was a major transformation. I hear it from all of you right now. And you're all shining examples. <laughs> As I look at you, I'm like, wow, you know, um, you were all people who were turned around how you were experiencing life in your bodies. And really, there's nothing better out there. And you've, you too have tried other things and nothing truly worked. Have you been under any medication with, for pain relief, did you say? Um, so when I was really young at the age of 14, I was put on very heavy narcotics for the management of pain. And um, uh, just to give a little bit of a backstory to that, uh, when I was hit by a truck, I broke my femur. And eventually they ended up putting a plate in because when my leg had healed, my bone healed on a 45 degree angle and they had to re-break it and put a plate in so that I wouldn't miss school going forward and that they wouldn't uh, hold me back a grade essentially. And so after about seven years of having a plate in my leg, they, I, had, I started experiencing really bad pain. Like, I mean, excruciating out of, a, out of a one to 10, it was a 12, you know, I'd always tell them it was a 12. And so they put me through a year of pain management uh, with very heavy narcotics. And, uh, you know, at that time, I did not know that this was uh, an addictive thing for the body. And I ended up becoming addicted to it for a very short period in my in my life. But it was very challenging to navigate, for sure. And then after a year, they decided to operate and went in. And they found five millimeters of bone had grown over the plate itself because my body was actually trying to grow. And that was the pain I was experiencing oh, in my wow. body. Yeah, that's where it's from. Yes. Goodness me. Well, being that our cells are constantly changing over, what we eat actually affects everything because blood health is, is chi. It's our life force. So just always remember every choice that we put into our bodies, it's creating new cells. So um, thank you so much for sharing and so nice to meet you. Um, yeah, it's lovely to be here. Yes, everyone connect with one another if you see each other on social media. And um, we really do create a community with the Million Mom Movement. And our pledge is all about being free of man-made ingredients, including these different narcotics and management uh, that we have been um, offered through other modalities. But so um, I know that we all are sharing different things that we're, we've been using. Um, so I wanted to go back to some of the key um, tips that I have for the lifestyle that I wanted to share with you all. Oh, goodness. Did it again. It's right on top of the words. <laughs> Uh, the image of the pictures, but the, these are the tips that really complement the organic superfood lifestyle because yes, nutrition is a huge part. However, it's not the only part, right? And we don't ever want anyone to think it's anything short of a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle that we adopt. And that's the transformation because you will, I'm going to cut to the number seven, work with an accountability coach. Work with somebody who will support you in tracking and monitoring you because everyone needs that. Everyone's path, if it's a food addiction, if it's getting around, getting off of a medication, if it's weight loss, whatever it is, you're only going to benefit from having the support of the team. And that's the business model of this company's Perium Superfood line. We have support. Use it. Lean on it. It's an actual asset for you to say yes to trying it. Um, Eat primarily an organic whole food plant-based nutrition along with the superfoods because, you know, sometimes I see people, you know, they still want to eat these acidic foods with it. And of course, you're always going to be better having some superfoods with it, but going closer to what's recommended, that's where you're going to get the results that you're hearing from these ladies. The experience is that when you hit a, a rock bottom or a, a place of, you need transformation, you want some a shift, um, you're gonna get it, but follow the system, follow this lifestyle. Limit foods that are spicy to sweet or salty. Um, 
everything's in balance, right? Um, and, and very important. Sometimes you might need a little bit more salty or sometimes you might need a little bit more sweet, but look at what's recommended on the list and source from that. Um, sleep and movement is medicine, period. Highlight that and bold that because many of us, we just run ourselves ragged. Either we're moms or we overwork ourselves. Just don't be unapologetic with your self-care. I, I give you permission. <laughs> um, and treat yourself gently and listen to your cues. We're here to tell you that this is a process of you transforming how you were, whatever state that you were coming from, to a new you. And in order to do that, you have to listen. And once you do intake these pure foods, pure organic superfoods, your body's going to become more sensitive to all the things in the world in, that you take inside, what you smell, everything, even your mood, like what Kim said, your mood changed drastically. And I could relate so much, so much um, from the mood imbalance um, that acidic foods took me to. And track and monitor your transformation. Now, these are the recommendations. Some of you have already mentioned, you know, the ULT is the one in the center because it is the path that's best for most to begin with to start to clean up the gut microbiome. The microbiome is probably full. If, you've, if you're starting brand new, it's full of glyphosate, the active ingredient in Roundup, and it does not wash off vegetables or fruits or rice or oats or obviously beer and wine. It is actually coming through mama's milk. It's coming through the umbilical cord of babies. So we need the detoxification of the biomedic to support our bodies to be able to absorb the nutrients that you're flooding it with. But without the biomedic, you're not gonna be able to deep, um, uh, repopulate with good bacteria. That's the probiotic side. The prebiotic side is, is you're building a new biome a new villi to absorb differently. That's why you're seeing these transformations that Kim um, and these, uh, Vanessa and, goodness, I have to remember your name. <laughs> Kushirawa, there we go, Kushirawa. Um, you shared coffee protein, Vanessa. Coffee protein is delicious. And um, it has 22 grams of protein with, um, green coffee extract. So it's alkaline coffee. It's nourishing coffee. So if you love the coffee because you have a need that fix that flavor, then add a non-dairy organic creamer with it to support that kind of balance if you like that. Um, it's or alone. Um, the bottom the bottom pack on the left is what Kim was talking about. And it's the holistic fitness pack. Um, be energetic is excellent for adrenal support. We're talking about fatigue and brain fog. Now the bioregion is amazing. It's main ingredient is superoxide dismutase, which is an antioxidant, a very powerful antioxidant. Um, the fruits and veggie pack, the bottom right, that is excellent for getting nutrients in a whole food plant-based form. We all are deficient of some of these daily if we're not taking these supplements. So we do need external supplementation and one shake is, it's $3 a day for three shakes a day. It'll take you three minutes to do it a day. So be in that population that is not deficient. The 90 percenters, there's 90% of Americans right now are deficient in fruits and vegetables daily. Revive it all is for brain tension span, health and um, acuity and in focus, not just for kids, but it does say kids, but just take more drops for it to be adult size, adult size um, portion. And then the ionic elements. What is so important about minerals? Everything. <laughs> it grows the soil, it grows the nutrients in the soil. Um, and it's what's missing in our produce currently. So if you're not eating from organic, biodynamic, soil that's from our purine farms. The farms are probably cross-contaminated in some way, sprayed with pesticides or herbicides. And regenerative farming is really needing a lot of support. And that's what we provide here, regenerative medicine and from regenerative farming. So with that, I'm complete. And we're just at the half hour. Thank you so much.
Thank you, Kim. <laughs> and thank you also, Kashiwawa and Vanessa. Is there anything you'd like to add or share? You can come off mute. I would just like to add that I know you touched on food addiction a little bit, and I wanted to touch on sugar addiction because I was a hardcore sugar addict for so many years. Like I could probably say since before I knew sugar could be a, a, something you could be addicted to, I would say maybe uh, the ripe young age of three years old, possibly, you know, and I, I had no idea, you know, my family and, and people growing up always said, uh, that sugar, too much of it is not good for the body, but no one ever really explained why. And so, you know, throughout my life, I, you know, became more and more addicted to it. And, you know, honestly, and on the day three of my ULT, this is something I'd never even thought that I would experience. I had no sugar craving. It was gone, literally eliminated, like it was decimated out of my system. And experiencing that was such an eye opener to how dense, dense nutrition plays a role in having these food addictions. So if we're not feeding our bodies dense nutrition, then our body is going to easily become addicted to foods that are not good for us, you know, sugar and things that are uh, of the acidic diet, so to speak, things that are fried or processed or, you know, packaged foods that are on our shelves and every grocery store that, that we go to, except for, of course, if we're at a, a health food store, then we at least then have a, a little bit of a healthier option to the junk food that's out there. Absolutely. I'm glad you touched on that too. Um, addictions are real. And if you're not getting enough, it's 20 grams of protein required daily, and it will stave off any carb addiction immediately. And then the greens, the deep greens for the B6, B1, B2, B3, 6, 9, 12, all of that also combats because that's what gives us energy, which is what we want from that fast delivering sugar. So yes, you just shift to organic whole food um, vegan protein tablets with our shake, our power shake or the MP sport or the cocoa mint spirulina. There's so many great options. And me too. Day three of my first cleanse, I was addicted to sugar. I had candida. I couldn't even, I saw a cupcake and I said, I can't even imagine what that tastes like. I don't have that taste for it anymore. It's gone. So yes, I totally relate. <laughs> well, thank you. Anyone else? Do you like to? Sure. I just wanted to add that um, you know, every, at every point, um, at least for myself, or every day, I try to take in what's pure, what's more cleaner and whole. And this is just such an easy option because it's so rich in such nutrition. I, it's just like you're getting extra extra points <laughs> um, in your nutrition and being more connected to who you truly are, being more connected to source. You know, everything is either going to give you life or take away from life. And you know that you're giving yourself such life here. Amen. And, mm -hmm. uh -oh. We're giving ourselves life back. Yes. Thank you, Vanessa. And you, Kim? Yes, please. Hold that in a moment. Um, I just wanted to add that um, uh, I think one of the things that I remember from before is that this can seem really, really overwhelming, and that it seems like a lot, and um, and that um, it isn't. <laughs> as soon as you make the choice to do this for yourself, and you do deserve it, absolutely, that. Um, it's actually easy. Like it's it it takes all of the stress out of you know trying to decide what you should eat and how you eat it and how you cook it and should you use this oil or that oil or read this label and it's just it's so much to try and do the right thing and this takes all of that stress away and you know you're doing the right thing and your body within a few days will tell you that you're doing the right thing. That was what I wanted to say. Yeah, that's great. But I know to think it, just do it. <laughs> yes, we're giving ourselves back what we know we deserve. We deserve, we're worthy of whole food nutrition that nourishes us and makes us feel complete and sustained. 
when we're overly fatigued and going through all kinds of swings emotionally, energetically, that's not how food should supply us, right? So there's definitely missing deficiency syndromes happening all around the country and world. So go out and share this with others and bless all of your journeys. And I can't wait to continue to see you in our community, ladies. Bye for now. Thank you.